welcome to my studio aka my sister's bedroom um you'll finally be able to hear my voice for a change coming out of my mouth so uh because she's gone to school so i have her room to myself but for this video uh, I thought I'd show you guys how to contour your faces, not just using powders, but also using creams, which I'll go a bit in depth with. And since my last video was about um, how to do a simple eye look for beginners, I'm going to go back a step to show you guys how to contour your face and how to get a nice foundation base for your makeup. So let's jump into the video. So I've gone ahead and laid down a nice base with primer, um, a bit of concealer over my blemishes and some foundation. So now we are going to jump straight into the contour because that is usually what I do after I apply my foundation. So I, I just want to put a little bit of warmth back into my face because I look like a ghost right now. So to start off, I like to use the contour creams and the contour cream that I'm going to use today is the NYX contour palette and highlighting palette with creams and the shade that I usually use is this shade here it's not too dark and it's not too light it's probably about four times darker of my usual shade but when applying cream contours I like to use like a little thick dense angle brush similar to this right here or you can use a brush that is flat but also still dense but i'm going to use this one and all i like to do is just get a little bit of product on my brush and i usually condense the product in my contour an easy way to figure out where you should apply your products is to suck in your cheeks and kind of dig it into your jawbone so you make a fish face and just dig it in so what i'm doing right now is just digging my brush into my jawbone so i can hopefully make my face look a little bit more snatched as i am quite chubby and what to remember is to align the contour from the beginning of your eye so that you don't look as unnatural you want to look as natural as you can with the contour and don't forget to also contour under your jawbone so that if you do have a double chin like me you just use the contour can you see any difference next when it comes to contouring the nose i like to use a smaller denser brush which is similar to this brush right here and all i like to do is to apply a little bit of the product on the brush and go along the sides of my nose now it also came to my mind that if you do have a wider set nose all you'd have to do for contouring your nose is to do an imaginary line on how small you want your nose also not forgetting to put a bit of contour on the end of your nose and I kind of extended the contour up to my brow. Once that's done, pretty much the next step would be to use a concealer to highlight underneath your eyes and on the tip of your nose, on the bridge of your nose, chin, your cupid's bow and a bit on the forehead. So right now I'm applying a good amount of a lighter shade of concealer underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on the bulb of my nose, on my forehead, a little bit on my chin and a bit on my cupid's bow. Then using a damp beauty blender I just kind of punch it in to my face, of course not punching it in, I meant blending it into my face just to kind of blend out everything and make everything look perfect. Not forgetting to also blend out your nose carefully as you don't want to disturb 
the contour that we applied earlier. Sometimes you may also be given an opportunity to use cream, cream blushes and cream highlighters. I don't really have the cream highlighter, but I do have a cream blush, which is this one right here. It's the Maybelline Cheek Heat She Gel Cream Blush. So what I like to do when it comes to cream blushes is to apply a little bit on the back of your hand and kind of smooth it out and apply it with your finger first and then you can apply it with a brush. Now the problem I have with this cream blush is that the colour on the tube was what I expected but did not come out onto my skin. So which pretty much means I need to go buy a darker shade that will hopefully translate on my face a lot more pinker. So now jumping into powder. If you're like me and is kind of in a rush every day whenever you're doing makeup and rather choose to do powders, it's quite simple and it's easy and you don't have to use the creams. You can just go straight into the powders and I'm going to show you how I use powders. So powders, especially contour powders, come in various forms. You can have contour palettes which look similar to this which have a whole ton of contour powders or you can get contour powders that may come in little cutie palettes like this or can also come in a whole set of powders something similar to this which would be that bronzer there or you can use a whole bronzer on your face but what I like to do is buy a contour palette which is similar to this this is from I Love Revolution and this is in the light shade it comes with this bronzer color and a highlighter color I'm going to use these today to just demonstrate how to use the powders properly on your face so when I'm applying my contour powders or bronzer I like to use an angle brush which is similar to this brush right here you can see that the brushes are on an angle and it is just to facilitate when you're contouring your face so it's pretty much the same steps when you're applying the cream except you have to make sure you're blending more on the on the side of your cheek and less in this area here so following the same steps as if I was applying the cream contour, I would suck in my cheeks and apply a good amount of contour powder from the start of my eye onto my temples and a bit on the sides of my forehead. And don't forget under your jaw. Can you tell the difference? Now when it comes to contouring the nose, it can be tough to find the right brushes sometimes. So. When I'm doing a quick makeup look, I usually use the same angle brush, but since this angle brush is quite big, I usually clamp it with my fingers and just go down the, the sides of my nose, similar to how we were contouring with the creams earlier. But this time, you want to make sure that when you pick up more product from onto your brush, you got to make sure that you tap a lot of it off. So I just squeeze it and just go down the sides of my nose. And with the powders you can see straight away that it is the contour on your nose will be very visible so if you're going for a more natural look I would tend to brush that off more another good thing about a bronzer or the contour powder is that you can also use it as an eyeshadow base which I like to do so with the blushes it's similar to the cream blushes earlier but we want to make sure that we're not dragging our face down so when i say not to drag our face down you don't want to apply it straight onto the apples of our cheek you want to apply it more onto the cheekbone that's right here and bring it up to your temple which will kind of i don't know <laughs> I actually put a bit too much blush on the sides of my cheek so I decided to put a little bit on my nose 
and don't forget to also smile because blushing is a natural sign of smiling when it comes to blush i usually use a brush like this which is quite thin but is also fluffy and i like to apply it nicely just above the blush and kind of blend it into the temple then apply a little bit on the bulb of your nose some on the bridge if you want to apply a little bit on just above your eyebrow and then on your So this is a final look, I popped a little bit of eyeshadow, some lashes and some lipstick but nothing can compare to a great base and I hope that you guys were able to pick up some tips on how to contour your face and continue watching my other videos for some other tips. Bye guys!